Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review another St. Croix Legend Tournament rod, the Power Flipping Rod. It's 7 foot 11. It's heavy power and moderate fast action. Now this isn't going to be a run-of-the-mill style rod review. It's going to be very in-depth and I'm going to use a technique called DMRVP, which stands for Description, Meaning, Relevance, Value, and Purpose. Okay, so first of all, uh, we'll just start. So the purpose of this rod is flipping, okay, uh, and heavy duty flipping, by the way. And so um, keep that in mind. What I'm going to do next is talk about the description. I'm going to do a couple of parts here. I'm going to give you uh, a description of my um, what I felt when I first got it out of the, the package, how I'm using the rod, and then I'm going to show you the rod bend, okay, uh, against the wall, and then I'm going to give you this in-depth um, knowledge of this rod how it's made, materials, all kinds of good stuff. So let's jump into this right now. When I first opened this rod and got it out of the, out of the package, and I, when I held it, I noticed two things. One, it's a really long rod, and two, it's very heavy. Turns out it weighs 6.6 .6 ounces. That's pretty heavy for a rod. But of course, this rod is designed to do some incredible heavy flipping. But the weight is noticeable, so I notice that right away. So I've used this rod now for about a year. I used it last fall and uh, flipping it in heavy cover and this spring flipping it in some very heavy cover. There, there, I'm going to show you some video on exactly me using this rod and catching some pretty nice fish with it. So I can't complain about how this rod works in heavy cover. It is a heavy rod. I've mentioned that and I'll probably mention it again because that's something that is just you have to, you have to know before you want to use it. I think this rod was probably designed to be a punch rod. Flip, you know, punching it through some very, very heavy cover. So it's seven foot 11, heavy power with a moderate fast action. And I wanna talk about that action. That action is critical. I think that moderate fast action on a flipping rod is just beautiful, it's perfect. I have lost a lot less fish with moderate fast action. And I don't mean when I got a fish buried in heavy cover and he gets hung up. Man, that can happen no matter what happens, okay? I'm talking about when you get it up and you get the fish out of the cover and it just throws the bait, okay? I just don't have that trouble hardly anymore. I've thrown very few fish on this rod, where in the past, I've had a very heavy rod, broomstick style, and I would throw a lot of fish. So I think this is a better rod in that regard. So you can see me using this rod and, and pulling up some fish out of some heavy cover, and I think that's pretty pretty important here. I don't do a lot of punching. I uh, haven't done any punching. Never punch, by the way, because we just don't have much of that in Arizona, but I will be doing that this fall at either Martinez or Lake Havasu, um, where we can punch uh, where the grass grows enough, but most of the time, the grass, we just don't have grass, so I'm relegated to fishing very, very heavy timber, brush, and laydowns, all kinds of great stuff like that. It's taken me a while to find the right reel match for this rod. I, I want a higher speed reel, and initially I had a on a Revo uh, SXSS reel, which stands for um, shallow spool, and it's designed for pitching, okay? Pitching and flipping, so it has a shallow spool. And it's eight to one, 8.1 to one reel um, gear ratio. That's pretty fast. And what I noticed when I had it on this rod, and I would set the, hook and I start to reel, that that high gear ratio is like I couldn't move the fish. It's weird, okay? That's the whole point of a high reel is to move the bait and the fish. But when you have such a short line, I think that was the problem, okay? It, I just couldn't get enough leverage on, on the, everything to make it work to my satisfaction because of the length of the rod. So I found a really good match and that happens to be uh, St. Croix 7 uh, GF reel. It is 7, 3 to 1. And that speed is really, really better for me. And plus it has, uh, the handles are a little less wide here. So that allows me to get more leverage. So when I put it on this rod, it's a very light reel. It's inexpensive, it's $120. It has four, uh, four bearings and I, it has four bearings and a roller bearing, okay? So it doesn't have a lot of bearings, but that's okay. I'm not using it to chunk and wind right? I, I'm using it to really short cast, pitches really, okay? And this reel pitches very nice on this rod. So the whole thing combined is a really nice setup. Inexpensive reel, pretty darn good rod, heavy cover. Now, let's move on and let me show you how this rod bends against the wall and we'll, I'll also talk about that a little bit there as well. Here we have the St. Croix Legend Tournament 
power flip and rod. The model number is LBTC71HMF. That stands for heavy with a moderate fast tip. So let's take a look at this rod and watch it bend. Now here I'm just starting to put a little, very little pressure on it. And that's very really important to, when you think about it because if you flip it into a bush or tree or something and you want to check to see if there's a fish, you, you want to have a tip that gives you a little bit of flex to allow you just to kind of know something's, something's there. That little flexing just kind of helps to make that detection, believe it or not. Because generally when I flip, I drop the bait down into the bush, let it free fall, okay? And then when I lift up is when I feel it, okay? So when I lift up is when I, when I feel it. Then of course, you go ahead and set the hook. And so if I just put some pressure on it, there I set the hook, I've got about a medium amount of pressure and there's the bend. You can see that this is, uh, you know, the bend is way in the front, being a moderate fast. Because it's a heavy action, that moderate fast part, I think, is moved a little bit to the front. That's just my guess. But as I load this up and, and really put some pressure on it, like I'm, I got myself, you know, a three pounder heavy entangled in the bushes. Now you can see that rod bending. You can see that it, now it seems more like a moderate fast action. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this rod, okay? And you can see that the rod is bending, but there's a lot of power. I'm transferring a lot of my power back into, through the rod and down to the fish. I can tell you that right now. Now this rod is a big rod. It's seven foot 11. It's beefy, okay? It's, it's, it's kind of a heavy rod, perhaps a rod a little more heavy by weight, let's say, than I want to use. Uh, it's a pretty impressive rod. Is it really for me? Hmm, I don't know. I'm not, not sure. Let's take a look at the bend again. Right there is medium pressure. Right there is a lot of pressure. I'm putting a lot of pressure on it right now. There you go. And here's here I'm just giving it a little tap, like I'm trying to check to see if there's a fish there. When I, when I notice that, I can feel that little lighter action. I go, oh, there's a fish, and I go, I'm going, you know, set the hook, right, and start reeling like crazy. Okay, after watching that, now let's take a deep dive into this, the description of this rod, meaning, you know, its power, its weight, its cost, how it's built, manufactured, all that. So give that a watch right now. This is the St. Croix Legend Tournament Bass Casting Power Flippin'. Here are the rod specifications. The model number is LBTC71HMF. The technique is Power Flippin'. And the price is $340. The length is 7 foot 11 inches. It weighs 5.26 ounces. It has a heavy power with a moderate fast action. The line weight is from 14 pounds to 65 pounds. And the lure weight is from a half ounce to two and a half ounces. It has a standard handle. The reel seat is a Fuji SK2. The seat lock is a machine cut anodized aluminum. The rod guides are nine Fuji K-Series tangle-free guides with alkanite rings. Here are the rod technologies. SC4 Plus Hybrid Carbon Fiber combines St. Croix Level 4 High Modulus Carbon Fibers with St. Croix Level 6 Super High Modulus Carbon to produce the lightest, most sensitive, and balanced rods possible for the money. It also allows for the Legend Tournament line to possess a large number of technique-specific rods to choose from. IPC stands for Integrated Polycurve. It is a computer-aided design and tooling technology that allows for the design of specific power and action combinations. Polycurve stands for polynomial curve used in CAD design packages to create smooth curves between control points. This eliminates abrupt rod blank transitions, making them stronger. What I find incredible as a software guy is that modern machines can cut the long, thin rod mandrels that follow the long, tapering curves. ART stands for Advanced Reinforcing Technology. It is a special carbon fiber material that, when placed strategically on a rod blank, provides 10x strength without adding weight, St. Croix claims. The purpose is to improve the hoop strength and thus prevents the blank from deforming under severe load. FRS stands for Fortified Resin System. It is a combination of super high resin and computer controlled curing ovens that keep the fiber properly aligned. St. Croix claims that this process makes the rods 33% stronger. TET stands for Taper Enhancement Technology and it is the process of cutting curved 
blank patterns based upon computer designs that combined with IPC mandrels creates blanks with better actions and improved sensitivity. IACT is a technology used in a number of the Legend tournament rods that combine the SC4 Plus graphite material with linear S-glass technology that runs through the full length of the rod. The SC4 material is placed in locations and amounts to optimize strength, sensitivity, balance, and weight. The unique action helps with the casting accuracy and that is something that I can verify. IACT gives the rods a softer, more moderate action targeted for use with reaction baits and treble hooks for fast moving baits like a spinner bait, buzz bait, or chatter bait. The results created by the use of these technologies are rods that are lighter, cast better, and more sensitive and stronger to the degree that St. Croix provides a 15 year warranty. The current policy for warranty replacements is a $60 charge to ship you a new rod. That process is very simple. You take photos of your rod model and serial number and a photo of the brake, fill out a warranty claim on the website and upload the photos. The St. Croix customer service rep will contact you to make arrangements for the $60 payment. Lastly, and one of the reasons that I chose St. Croix is that the Legend tournament rods are made in America and Wisconsin specifically. I'm happy to buy American every chance I get. Okay, now that I've bored you with all the gory details, which are important, by the way, if you really want to understand, and that's why I say this is an in-depth review, because I provide all that information. Now let's move on to the other parts of the DMRVP review, and that is meaning, relevance, value, and purpose. I already discussed the purpose, but let, let's talk about the meaning. So what gives something meaning is how it affects my concerns. So there are two major concerns that affect me with fishing rods and holding on rod all day. One is the weight and this rod does not bode well against that particular concern. All right, it's a heavy rod and using it all day is very fatiguing. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, if you're punching heavy weed cover, you may not have a choice. The other concern, obviously, is boating the fish. So this is incredible. I've boated a lot of fish in heavy cover. I don't, I, I can't boat every possible fish I have bite because the cover is just so heavy and they get hung up in there. But, you know, it really gives me the ability to boat those fish. So these are two concerns that are fighting each other. The heavy power gets the fish out of that heavy cover and the moderate fast action is really incredible, again, for doing hookups. I just can't say enough about that. I really think it's a, the best rod action for a flip and stick. So is this rod relevant to me? So that's another point that's not going to hit really high in the category because I don't punch heavy cover, okay? Not really, not weeds and stuff, so I don't do it all the time. So I don't know if this rod is truly relevant for that particular reason. Now, if I'm, I own it, I have it, so I'm going to use it. And when I used it in the last couple of times I've been out fishing here in a local lake, it worked very well for me. It was, it was awesome. It worked fantastic. I use it to, to pitch heavier baits because yes, you know, you notice that the, the, the weights you can use for this rod are pretty wide and pretty heavy. So I put a heavier bait on this rod and I'll, I'll do my flipping and pitching. Okay. So does this, is this rod provide value. It's an expensive rod. It's the most expensive rod that they have in the Legend tournament line. And I don't know if I don't know if I'd buy this rod again for my situation. My and it's because this rel, you know, is it relevant to me, right? I don't think so. I think I would pass unless by by the chance I get out to go out to the river, the Colorado River and fish heavy punch and weeds and I realize that this is an incredibly great rod for that. But I don't think I'd buy this rod again. But as long as I have it, I'm going to put it to use, okay? So there's my overall view. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. Leave a comment. If you have questions, I'll do my best to answer. I love talking to my people who watch my videos, let's say, right? And so uh, if there's anything that I can do for you in videos, please leave in the comments. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Have a great day. Okay.
had to throw that into the heaviest cover ever. Fuck, he got him good. Come on now. Open up. Not a giant fish, but he was deep in that stuff. Look what I caught him on. I'll get that bag out and show you. He's about a pound and a half. -er. He ate this big giant bait. <laughs> Amazing. All right.